building Pine Tree yourself without spending a lot of money. That's exactly what I'm showing you today. To build the trunk of your pine tree, you will need some uh, balsa wood or some wooden dowel. Uh, in Canada, we don't have any balsa wood dowel, so uh, I will start from a square one and basically uh, shave it uh, to the <laughs> to the the uh, the dowel uh, round uh, size. So the second step is just to I would say uh, sculpt the top of the the tree. Uh, to uh, make it a little bit uh, pointy. By the way, a pine tree could be a really nice add-on to any of your diorama. Uh, and it's something you do from scratch. So for me, it's really rewarding. And instead of uh, spending a lot of money buying a tree, just do it yourself. So the next step, we'll do uh, a light sand just to make sure that uh, your uh, tree trunk will be uh, even and uh, there's not uh, a lot of pieces that uh, goes uh, all around. The next step uh, will be to drill uh, some hole in your tree trunk. Uh, I'm using just a, a really small, uh, um, I would say, drill bit. Uh, it's, I would say, maybe one millimeter um, to make sure that uh, you basically drew some all uh, all around your tree trunk. This way you're going to be able to fit uh, all the branches uh, that we will do a little bit later. To add some texture, I'm just going to use a uh, wire brush. Uh, to mimic the uh, wooden uh, wooden texture and this way uh, it's going to be a lot easier. So I'm just uh, using basically florist uh, wire and those are the uh, the size that you're looking for. So six, four, three, two and one centimeter. So we're just going to do a coat of uh, brown or um, any kind of brown on your tree trunk. That's what, that will be the base color before we uh, we apply the uh, the last color. By the way, guys, if you want to become a Patreon, uh, it's super cheap and it's gonna help me a lot to buy some stuff and to do a lot more video. So after we paint our tree trunk, we're just gonna add a pin to it. It's gonna be a lot easier to fix it to your diorama and also uh, to uh, pick it up when you're uh, gonna paint and add uh, some uh, foliage and some bushes after that. So starting with the longer one, I'm gonna start uh, at the bottom of the tree and going it up, we're gonna use the uh, smaller and smaller in size. So the one centimeter will be uh, for the top of the tree and the six centimeter will be at the bottom of the tree. So you're just gonna fix it uh, by using regular glue or PVA glue. It doesn't really matter. We're just gonna basically apply of uh, espresso coffee uh, color all around. And we basically gonna start uh, our um, our work there. We're just gonna basically apply uh, some uh, PVA glue. In this case, I'm using uh, tacky glue. It's a little bit more sticky, uh, less watery, so it's uh, everything will stuck a little bit more uh, on your branches. So basically, try to focus on every single wire. Not the tree trunk like I did, uh, but try to avoid the tree trunk. So by using a, um, a basically grass, 10 millimeter grass, um, uh, we're basically just gonna apply the first layer of it onto our branches. You don't really need a static grass applicator to do this. You can do it uh, with your hand. Uh, just basically pick it up uh, in the bag and just apply it with your uh, with your hand. It's gonna be, I would say, a little bit more difficult, but uh, you can uh, do it uh, easily. 
So I'm just gonna basically cut all the uh, excess um, static grass that I apply on the branches to make sure that it's not gonna be too much and you're just gonna focus on the tree trunk. So the next step, uh, we're basically gonna apply a mix of uh, glue and water. So it's gonna be thinned down, I would say maybe a good 60% water, 40% uh, glue. You can also um, use uh, some, um, some uh, spray glue, uh, it doesn't really matter. And I'm basically gonna apply um, my uh, my thing I'm gonna use my end this time so it's super easy and uh, basically it's gonna be um, applying the the last layer for our um, for our tree it's gonna add some more depth and also uh, the color will change a little bit uh, you can adjust it with your airbrush after that or even uh, a paint you can even apply a wash on your tree trunk if you don't have uh, the right color of, um, of this product but uh, yeah so after you glue uh, not glue but you apply glue on all the branches just apply um, the uh, the color it's gonna look uh, amazing uh, right away in this case I'm using fine turf um, you can use any I would say Go with the fine turf because the only reason why is you don't want to apply it too much on your tree trunk. Just focus on the branches. This way, uh, like I said, if you look at the real tree, you can see the trunk um, basically around around all the branches. So don't basically apply everything uh, on your tree trunk. Just focus, and that's why I'm using. A really fine uh, fine product because this way it's gonna be a lot easier to um... so a big shout out to my uh, patreon uh, it's uh, like I said it's super nice uh, for them to uh, basically uh, support me and like I said I can buy a little bit more material and different things like that not that I basically need it because I have uh, crazy amount of stuff already because I'm doing this for like 25 years but honestly if you support me on patreon um, it's basically why I'm doing this video not for the money but to show you the best video that I can and the tip and tricks that you will enjoy <laughs>